Well then, YouTubers, it's uh, time for some physics fun. We are on Saturday morning, 16th of March, 2024, and it's come around to that time for a bit of microwave physics. And you're thinking, okay, well, what do we mean? So we've got ooh, Rutherford from the University of York, defying gravity. I've got a little bit of steel wool. Uh, what else have I got? I've got, ooh, nichrome wire. I've got my spoon. This is my trusty spoon that I had all the way from university at Loughborough till now. And it's my physics merit bell. So what am I going to do? Let's have a look. Well, microwaves are known for not doing things very nicely with metals for some reason. Well, look, hold on. I've got a huge block of metal here. Let's see what happens if I put it in the microwave. Are we ready? Hammer on. Whoa! Got a bit of flash. Not a lot else. Okay, so that's a bell. Oh, hold on, steady on. So, what's happened to my bell? Well, let's have a look. Not a lot. It's still working. Okay, spoon. It's a big chunk of metal, isn't it? Okay, so let's have a look and see what happens to the spoon. Oh, a little bit of a spark. That's not the spoon though, actually. Okay, nothing uh, major. Okay, but interesting. The spoon itself has warmed up, so it's definitely absorbed some of the energy from the microwaves. Okay, so that's interesting. Let's, uh, let's have a look at this wire. I'm gonna cut a piece of wire off. So hold on, let's get a bit of this wire. See what we can do with it. So let's make it into a little ball. So here we go. So wrap it around a little bit. Oh, I'll just wrap my fingers now. Hold on. So let's uh, let's go around a little bit. See what happens in the microwave. Shut the door. Whoa! That is crazy. Whoa! Glowing red hot. Whoa! Pretty impressed. So I'm going to move up a little bit. Let's see if we can go up a little bit. We're going to angle the camera slightly down. Let's have another go. Hold on. Ah, that's nice. And we'll get a better view now. Should do that one again. It looked pretty cool, didn't it? Let's get a little bit more wire. Just a touch. Here we go. I think we'll get a better picture. So, a bit of nichrome. Those people that are really nerdy, it's a 34 standard wire gauge. Okay, so here we go. Let's put the wire in. Power on. Whoa. That's definitely absorbing the energy, isn't it? Pretty hot, pretty red. Whoa. Cool. Let's not overdo it. So let's just scrape that out. So that metal's come out. Well, what about the iron wall then? Okay, so this is just a bit of normal iron wall. You can buy it anywhere for automotive purposes and lots of air in between let's stretch it out a bit in we go what's going to happen to that then i'll be ready here we go whoa it's on fire that's crazy let's open up oh and it's still glowing so it's still oxidizing Give it a bit more. So it's definitely absorbing the energy really well, isn't it? That steel wall. Very cool. Very cool. Oh. And we've really oxidized it. Okay, I think I'm destroying my plate here, but there we go. Not to worry. So, now it's a bit of a toss up. Shall we either do, see the Rutherford or Define Gravity? He's going to get it. Ooh, let's go for. Schools and Colleges 2013 to find gravity from the IOP. What an appropriate CD to put in my microwave. So, are we going to play any music? Probably not. But we've got this amazing silver surface. <clears throat> Let's see what happens. In it goes. And ready to rumble. It's like, oh, interesting. It's flashing all over the surface of the disc. Now then, let's 
see what we've done. Wow. Now that is cool. So it's got an amazing crazed surface. So it's like a random pattern. So again, it's definitely absorbed the energy. Not sure you can tell exactly how it's absorbed the energy, but you can see a rather cool effect on our Defying Gravity CD. So there's a bit of microwave physics fun, all to do with an oscillating magnetic and electric field being absorbed into metal objects. There we go.